Sadly, they're in P5. Well, we said that it might be an equaliser against the, the Rev Limiter. And Fadli, there's a cheer going on. You can hear it in the background. Adli Mohamed Fadli has got himself into a great position. Aldi Satya also as well. Astra Honda have got a lot of work to do. Yeah, we've got two Astra Hondas at the front and the two Yamaha. Wobble there from Adli Mohamed Fadli as they break for turn four. But it's Aldi Satya who's going to lead them into turn five, the, the second of a succession of left-handers. Just confirmed to you, everybody is on wet tyres, but Fadli, after a fast start, has actually lost a, a little bit of uh, space there. He needs P3 to guarantee the title. P3, well, if he got it, it'd be a sensational performance. Anything in the top five, if, if you're honest, will be a, a really good performance from Andy Mohamed Fadli. Yeah, Rafid Topan, one of the spoilers. He's close up with that group. We know he's going to go well in the wet. We know he's going to give it a good go as we do with Ray Ratakuri, who slipped back, in fact. Aldi Satya Mahendra, don't count him out. Oh, if... and there goes one of the... Oh, it's one of the Astra Honda. I'm just looking at the shade of red. It's, it's Adananta Putra, who desperately gets up. He was the man closest to Andy Mohamed Fadli. Oh, so the rain takes its first victim. Adananta Putra, his title goes up in flames in the wet. And that leaves Aldi Satcher trying to scamper away at the front, but the experienced Razor Danica is just behind him. They might get that moving again, but he will score nil point today. A Aggie. one, two, three yesterday for Astro Honda. And they're very aware that the full focus is on them. What did he do there? Does he just lose it? Yeah. Yeah. Just a reminder of how slippery it is here as Andy Mohamed Fadli speeds past him on that run down to turn 12. Well, Astra Honda racing team, that is the first shock of the day. Adananta cannot get it going either. His season is over. He's in such a rich vein of form. Two P1s, two P2s, but it did not finish. His fourth did not finish of the season. Yeah. And that is four too many. A real form rider. And uh, the experienced Razor Danica has taken over the lead from Aldi Satcher. But then Angie Setiawan got in front of his wet weather exponent teammate. So it's Angie Setiawan currently running in second. So we've got Honda, Yamaha, Yamaha, Honda at the front. And... Andy Mohamed Fadli holding on there in P5. P8 in this circumstance is now good enough for Andy Mohamed Fadli. P8 is good enough. Unless Hirschen Atna wins it. Yeah, no, even then P8 will be good enough. Yeah, well, Andy Fadli looking good at the moment. It'd be good if he can catch up to that group. Another, Another one. Is that is Sentil Chandra Sekharan. The Indian rider, he's off and out. So the broad-shouldered Sentil as Andy Mohamed Fadli. Now this has suddenly all turned in his favour. Not so much the Sentil situation, but the Adananta Putra of any of the Astra Honda racers to go out. That was the one he wanted to go. Exactly. He was the closest by three, sorry, no, six points, wasn't he? Yeah, indeed. Oh, so what this means is an eighth position will be enough. And look at the Yamahas duffing up Razor Danica on the way into turn three. That's a turn up for the books because uh, Aldi Satu is saying he's got nobody to help him against the Hondas. But my goodness, Angie Setiawan's helping him now. And they ganged up on Razor Danica, the 2018 AP250 champion. Piawat hanging on behind them. So Aldi Setia, he's making a, a late rush for the title. He's had three podiums in his last four races as poor old Adananta Putra gets a lift back into the pits. Ah, yeah. poor fella. Looking tattered and torn. And he didn't do a lot wrong. It was, it was purely a wet weather incident. Yeah, that's it, Razor Danica. Looks as though he's just managed to get his nose back in front. Aldi Satchers, not going to have any of that. 
We know he's fearless in the wet. We first, he first burst into our attention as a 13-year-old in, Su in uh, sorry, in Suzuka. Yes. In 2019. Yeah, famously. And yes. He just scampered away fearlessly yeah. and skillfully in the wet conditions there. Absolutely. So we know he's going to have a big say in the outcome of this race. Eight laps, seven laps to go. Well, all he can do, and similarly, all Razor Danica can do is win. That's all they can do. Then they rely upon the weather gods as another goes out. That's this Cal time Vietnam. it is Cal Vietnam. He might be able to get himself uh, sorted out, but these wet weather conditions are playing havoc. As Razor Danica, he risks just a little bit, but how much do you risk? He's got a lead, a one-point lead over Aldi Satya in the overall championship standings. Andy Mohamed Fadli, bike number 108, is still sixth at the moment. Good enough. Uh, poor old Adananta. Yeah, Aldi Satya and Razor Danica in a, in a battle now. And Piawat coming through, sliding it into turn three. Piawat just jumped up from P4 where he... Uh, So Pierwatt, who we expected to do well, he did do well yesterday actually, he came fourth, it was just, he was frustrated that he was uh, pushed out by the three Astra Honda racers from a podium place, he's looking to rectify that. Just watch them go through this turn, it's such a difficult one, all through nice and smoothly. Honda, Honda, Yamaha, Yamaha now, a much more even looking race between the manufacturers. Our cameras, well, it's, it's a miserable time for Adelanto Putra, as the expression tells it all. So sorry for you, fella. What a wonderful season, though. You've done yourself and your team proud. But it's a, a horrible way for your season to end. It certainly is. Uh, Aldi Satcher has set the fastest lap to a 2.6. So that's about 10 seconds off a good dry time. So Pierwatt, and he's leading Reza Danica. Now Reza Danica becomes an outside bet, but we're ignoring Andy Mohamed Fadli in P6. Rafi Topan also in that little group, as always. Rafi Topan goes on the inside, and here's Andy Mohamed Fadli. He's in P6, he's a long way behind the top five, but he's okay, because with Adan Antopucha out, P6 is fine. P6 is good. Uh, Rafit Topan, we thought he would come through. He got a P4 and a P2 here at Chang International back in March in round one. Uh, anxiously looking on there from the Motul Sniper Manual Tech Racing Pit. You could see heck, there's six laps to go. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> six whole laps six to go. Long laps. <laughs> And I tell you what, uh, Hersian Atna is one of the riders chasing Andy Mohamed Fadli, but so is his teammate, Iyoshi. Can Iyoshi do a bit of a sentry job to help Andy Mohamed Fadli? Iyoshi's uh, own hopes went up the hill at Sugo mysteriously. But Andy Mohamed Fadli, is he able to hold on? If he does, it just by grim determination if he takes this title. But there's still a long way to go, half a race. Plus, still to go for Andy Mohamed Fadli, the defending AP250 champion. I'm still a little surprised that Andy didn't manage to latch himself onto that front group. Uh, just keep an eye on uh, Rafid Topan there as well. While we're talking about spoilers, there is Aiki Yoshi. He's in front of Hergen now. Yesterday's race winner, Hergen. There's still enough out there, you know, to cause Fadley problems. So you've got Hergen Atna, you've got uh, Ray Ratakori and Jack Dupat, who's in, in great form. And you've got Muzik here as well, not too far behind. And that ignores Fitrian Sakete. So this is by no means a given for Andy Mohamed Fadley. As you can see, Ayoshi has latched himself onto the back, as has Hergen Atna. So Fadley has got real problems. Oh, who's that? Is That's that? Aggie Setiawan. Aggie Setiawan. Well, just as the door was closing, another one opens for Andy Mohamed Fadli. Yeah, I think he just uh, just got a little bit out of shape and sat up. 
I think he'll be back onto this group. Ooh, but yeah. look at this. Herjan Atner is coming through and the mathematics come into place. Razor Danica has the lead, but we're looking at Andy Mohamed Fadli, who's been caught by Ayoshi and Herjan Atner in that lap. And right behind him, he's got Fitrian Tikete and Ray Ratukore right on his tail. Yeah, Ray Ratukore in particular could come through and upset the party further for Andy Fadley. Fascinating stuff. Aldi Satya. Oh, and Angi Satya one's down this time. And disappointing for him after a good opening half of the race. Again for Angi, it's a fourth, did not finish for the season. Sometimes you've just got to stay on the bike, pick up three or four points here and there. That's what Andy Mohamed Fadli is hoping will guide him to victory in the championship. But it's looking perilous now because there's a whole queue of racers behind the Kawasaki Ninja of Andy Mohamed Fadli. Fadli is now in P. What position is Fadli? Seven at the moment. But Fitrianta, Ratakore, Akid and Jekrapat all capable of going past the, the lime green Kawasaki indeed. Fijianza does go past Andy Mohamed Fadli. Problems for the defending champion and championship leader. Yeah, this is good work. Unfortunate for Andy, but good work by Fitrianza. Uh, coming up soon behind him will be Ray Ratakuri, who won't care about his Indonesian compatriots, compatriots' uh, chances of the championship. And a whole queue behind him including Jack Rapat. So Razor Danica. Now then, if he goes on and takes the title, uh, sorry, and takes the win, 133 points it would be. That means Fadley would need a P8 or better. Yeah, interesting behind them, the two Indonesians uh, on the uh, Yamahas, Aldi Satya and Rafid. A little squiggle there from Aldi Satya. Where are we? We have got five laps to go. And he tucked Four into laps that to group. Go, sorry. Yeah, and he tucked into that group behind Herjan, yesterday's race winner. Fitrian just dropped back, but still looking game. What's going through the mind of Andy Mohamed Fadli at the moment, or is it just a case of uh, one space at a time? Just make sure I'm on in a good position on the last lap, so I'm not going to get caught. He's actually got good straight line speed, and he's caught Herjan Atna there. It's on the technical inner part of the course that he's got the problems. Ayoshi leads through in five, Spadley yeah. in six, Herjan Atna seven. Yeah, that was good use of the slipstream from Andy up the first of those long straights. This is what we expect him to do, and this is one of the things he needs to do to get this championship. Razor's getting away at the front. He crossed the line 1.3 seconds ahead. It looks like he's probably stretched that a bit further. And I think that's Rafid Topan leading Aldi Satya. So Aldi Satya's famed championship hopes are, are looking very, very tentative at the moment. Yeah, he fact, needs a win. Yeah, in fact, it's Piawat who's got back through into P2. The Hondas do seem to perform better certainly at the AP250 level on this circuit. Although, look at that, Aldi Satya, we, we know what he's like. He won't give this one up. But Razor Danica is giving himself every opportunity to take the title. Yeah, we know what he's capable of. He's a fast, smooth rider. To be fast and smooth is exactly what you need in wet conditions. Herjan Atna has gone through ahead of Andy Mohamed Fadli. Fadli's got Jack Rapat. The highly fancied Thai Honda wildcard who's having another go through and Fitrianza scampered <laughs> through and passed both of them under braking for turn 12. So Andy Mohamed Fadli as they come through with uh, two laps to go for him. Sorry I can't count three laps to go to him and get next time he's in P8. That's what he needs. P8 will be the title. If Razor Danica wins the race Fadli needs to be in that position in three laps time. Yeah, he crossed the line in P8 and then he just out dragged Fitriancia into turn one. So you can see the lead there, 1.9 seconds for Razor Danica Arends at the front.
we know what a classy rider he is and oh look at this Andy Fadley's getting well and truly beaten up in that group but he's got ahead of Hirschen Atner once again no he hasn't he's behind Hirschen Atner oh tell you what Fadley's under big 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 pressure yeah he's near the back of that group now now it gets scary Ayoshi's doing his best bit of a pacemaking for Andy Muhammad Fadley I'm sure Fadley will have got the more work on setup in the in the team but Fadley is the man who has uh, really got to make it count in the spray of Boram. Who was that? Is that Aldi Satya? Aldi oh. Satya drops out of the equation. Aldi Satya Mahendra, his title hopes end a low, low slump of the shoulders, bending of the head. That means Razor Danica moves into pole position so he if he wins he's just got to hope that Andy Muhammad Fadley becomes lower than P8 that's the straightforward equation and that's Rafid Topan in trouble Rafid Topan the latest to go and that's all good news for Fadley great news for Fadley oh and it's right on the racing line yeah. Ayoshi goes through. Where is Fadley at the end? Eight laps have gone, two laps go. Andy Muhammad Fadley in seventh, but there's two right behind him. He could still lose this. He could still lose this, Barry Russell. Oh, this is nail biting stuff. He fell back in that group. He was helped a little bit by that crash by Rafid Topan. Scary moment at turn 12 there. You could see the marshals trying to move the bike, but it was stuck in gear. Hopefully they've got it off the track now because there's still some races going round. But Aldi Satya in the pit, Rafid Topan in the pit, Hitler Makini and Sandil struggling, Akid and Irfan Heikel in the pits, Angi Setiawan. It is chaotic out there. Andy Muhammad Fadli, eight laps completed, well, eight and a quarter laps completed. His heart must be in his mouth, my heart in my mouth for him. Yeah, Muzakir Mohammed, isn't he doing well in that group too? He's spoiling the party, helping to spoil Andy Mohammed's party as well. Urgent just behind him. That's the place where we need to look at. P8 is my calculation. Hopefully I'm not leading you down the car path with that. Well, we saw her well. You did well in the underbones, Des. You got that exactly right. And that was a tricky one. Urgent just got knocked down one so Jakapat in four Muzakir in the green in five Herjan in six Fadli in seven but behind him Fitrian Tikete from Indonesia and Ray Ratakore yours to win say Astro Honda to Razor Danica just don't come off the bike because yeah. that's the lead that you've got from Pirwat it's a lead of nine seconds you're clear that's a back marker. Oh, Fadley's lost the place. Now then, it's one lap for Andy Muhammad Fadley. He's able to cling it back though. He's taken back on Fitrianta and Andy Muhammad Fadley holds on to P7. That would be enough. A little signal there to Fitrianta. Uh, as he went through, I'm not quite sure what that signal meant, but he's just about where he needs to be. Aiki Yoshi now is up to third we haven't seen too many great things from Aiki Yoshi this season and just behind him Jack Rapat Piwat Patumios in P2 so there is Andy Muhammad Fadli all focus on him is he able to cling on it's by the fingernails if he does He's got Fitrianta behind him. I think Herjan is too far away for him to catch. He's just got to worry about those behind him. That's all he can do is hope to stay where he is, make no mistakes. If he tries to catch the group in front of him, he's taking one risk too many. Herjan 46. Herjan making his move for P4 if he can get it. Andy Mohamed Fadli 108 in P7. He'll be very, very aware of Fitrianta Kete right on his tail. 
That's the man he doesn't want to go past him. Ayoshi looks over his shoulder and says to his mate, come on, Fadley, come on, we need you. Up at the front, I can tell you, Razor Danica is coming in to take a huge victory. 25 points for Razor Danica Arans. He's got his work done. 133 points for him in the championship standings. Now it's all about where Andy Muhammad Fadley finishes. P8 will be good enough. P7 would win it for him by a point. At the moment, he's in P7. And now it's all going to shake down, Des. Fitrianza goes on the inside. Andy Mohamed Fadli is under pressure. What will Andy Mohamed Fadli do? Fadli races for the line, and Andy Mohamed Fadli has come through in P7, which we think is enough for the championship. Andy Mohamed Fadli retains the title just ahead of Reza Danica, and he's done it by a single point. Des, I thought. Fitrianza just 